we have a range of staff that are present within the school that are, that are world leading and we hear that term quite frequently but the amount of contact that we have within the professional football industry um, and the, the contacts that, that come into the school to seek our expertise and guidance in applied practice really, um, really resonates quite strongly with the expertise that we have. So we have got contacts, we are um, leading many agendas both at a domestic level within clubs but also through many of the sports governing bodies really. From a, from a student point of view we have um, numerous examples of where students are actively engaged working within professional football clubs. We have um, an internship programme that is extremely vibrant with both Everton Football Club and Liverpool so Level 5 and Level 6 science and football students and sports science students can, can apply for the internship programmes. They go through practical assessments, they go through interviews and then they're selected to work um, within the confines of the clubs. Uh, my primary role is to deliver performance analysis uh, activity on both the science and football and sports science programme and then also oversee the uh, work specific placements that we have in performance analysis on those programmes. The, the work we, we currently do with uh, uh, pros and isn't more on a, a research work but it's more on a, an educational nature. So we've identified them as a leading industry partners, they've identified us as leading uh, in, uh, partners in terms of scientific knowledge and research import. So what we've done is we've joined together and we're now embarking on some kind of educational uh, courses. The, the role of the analyst is to, uh, to take that data, start sifting through the through the data and work closely with the coaching team. Uh, I'm currently on an internship at Liverpool Football Club as an analyst with the first team, the reserves and the academy. Um, so basically I, I try and help with pre-match and post-match documents, um, looking at recruitment of players and stuff and getting videos ready for coaches and, and uh, the manager. Because I'm a big Liverpool fan myself, I, uh, it's, it's great just being around the environment of the football club and just, just to like interact with coaches and and players, um, I feel like I'm learning every, every day. So our research area is skill acquisition, expert performance, and learning of complex tasks. So the task that we had um, our student doing today was a decision-making task in football. So he was required to interact with the footage as if he was a player and make decisions about what he would do in response to the play in front of him. Well, there's probably two strands to the research that we do. Um, one of the strands is trying to uncover the, the molecular mechanisms by which muscle adapts to exercise training. So we spend a lot of time taking muscle biopsies and trying to understand the biochemical adaptations of skeletal muscle. But at the same time, once we, we get this basic information, we then try and translate this in the elite sporting environment. So what we learn in the laboratory, we want to translate to improve performance on the pitch side. Yeah, I guess over the last few years, the area of recovery has become increasingly important in elite sport, um, and certainly different recovery interventions have been widely used, uh, one of them being cold water immersion. What we probably don't really know is too much is about the mechanisms of how it works. So really, my work is concerned with trying to unpick some of the mechanisms of how effective it is. It's a very research active department, but also we have a, a number of staff in, in addition to myself who, who really are also involved in, in the applying that knowledge out there in the real world, um, be it in the health environment or elite sports. So the real exciting thing is, is I think is the diversity of work, but also actually we're, we're transferring that into the, into the real world application. Um, it's partly research that we do in psychology and football uh, to inform um, professional practice to, to inform really working with, with players, with individual performers, particularly at high level. Sports science plays an important part in all our play development uh, at Everton. We have a number of sports science elements to our programme within the academy, which involves performance analysis, diet and nutrition, strength and conditioning and sports psychology. Um, I think students would be interested in doing a science and football degree because um, the programme that we've developed over numerous years since its inception in 1998 um, um, has produced in excess of 50 to 60 graduates that are now currently working in the industry. Yeah, well, I've said before, uh, I think in terms of the ethos of John Moore's University, I mean, the, you know, the, the philosophy is uh, dream, uh, plan, achieve. And, you know, when I'm driving around the city and I see that on billboards and that, it just makes me smile because where I was five years ago to where I am now, it, you know, it's, uh, as I said before, it wasn't even a dream to work at Liverpool Football Club, but I, I achieved it and, you know, so it's, 
it's, it's, it's kind of ironic. So that was a, I think that's a good philosophy uh, for students to use. And the overall atmosphere as well, it's just a friendly atmosphere. And you don't feel sometimes like you're coming to uni, but it's coming for a bit of fun sometimes, even though you're learning, which is really good.